Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support. More or less has been said about the Eastern Security Network as some Nigerians have referred to them as good measures. While others have expressed concerns over their presence in the region, citing that it might bring about security threats in the region. Earlier, they made threats to any allegedly formed vigilante groups and security agencies who are planning on carrying out any attacks on them, adding that such act will be met with consequences. They also explained that their recruits are allegedly from America, Asia, and Europe. Hence, they are very determined and dedicated to their curse. The Nigerian army unofficially responded by allegedly planning on deploying several assaults and surveillance resources to plunge the activities of the Eastern Security Network. The Eastern Security Network also uploaded a video showing a camp allegedly belonging to an unknown Fulani group burnt down in a move to achieve their objectives and order. True, though, the Nigerian military is very well equipped and robust in carrying out long-range operations, but research has shown that new voluntary scattered and dynamic organizations can be one of the deadliest and dangerous to confront. Reasons why Nigerian army and military needs to be more careful in dealing with the Eastern Security Network are as follows. One, because they are voluntary organizations, hence they regard nobody. Two, their locations are unknown, as they can be anywhere. Three, their resources are not identified yet to engage them in arms combat. Four, their recent activities and videos shows how bold they are and why the army needs to engage with caution. Five, they are new and very motivated with great urge to carry out their activities and objectives. Six, engaging the Eastern Security Network without a tangible reason may spark outrage and prompt security concerns in the regions. Seven, they are young, new, and their mode of engagement might not be the might not be conventional as the military will expect. Eight. They are likely to have great sympathizers in the region, hence their location might not easily be identified. Based on all this, what is your take on the rapid de deployment of military forces to engage the Eastern Security Network without proper evaluation and to threat assessment? Well, what do you think? Do you think that the government should still go ahead? Do you think that they can engage successfully and, um, you know, 
disarm the Eastern Security Network personnel, or do you think vice versa? It is a very, very serious issue, as it were. Well, let's take a few reactions and hear what people are saying concerning this particular news story, as it were, at the moment. Sunday Asia says, Nigerian government has not seen anything yet. I know they are afraid of beer France, but I will assure Nigerian government that by the time they are, okay, by the time my, if me and my friends finish our studies in the engineering field, the Federal Republic of Nigeria will see war equipment. We Biafran engineers have already started carrying out serious scientific research work on the development of ballistic missiles. We will burn down this country very soon. Serious war will escalate in this country very soon. This is my promise and this is my happiness. Everybody watch it. Wow. This is a very um, wrong statement so have been made by Sunday Isaiah. I stand to be corrected if um, truly he made the statement, but that is what he just said. Well, it is what it is. Nigeria is still a country and Biafra is here to be a country. So for that reason alone, it is not feasible for anyone to think that the uh, Biafra nation has what it takes to defeat Nigeria in uh, any engagement of uh, war, battle or whatever means it is. Not to discredit the Eastern region or the Eastern Security Network, you know, but it the resources that the Nigerian army has, I strongly believe that the Eastern Security Network may not have, you know, such resources. Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. It is most unfortunate that the Nigerian military is making so much noise about the Eastern Security Network. When the same military has been mute on other similar developments in other areas. This unprecedented action against the Eastern Security Network is actually proving the claims by the Easterners to be correct beyond doubt. That the North dies that the North does not see anything good from the East and needs to be done away with. Okay, it is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts? Charles Wanko says, the boys should be left alone and the military should also trade with caution. Biafra must exit, and Niger Biafra must exit Nigeria and it will happen soon. Another person says the Nigerian government will be disgraced before the whole world. This is not the 1967 where the Nigerian armed forces will see war and run away. Okay, it is what it is. Guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Well, nobody wants war because if you have seen war and you see the aftermath of it, you wouldn't wish it on your enemy so be that as it is we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold but the nigerian army and the nigerian government should tread cautiously and uh, seek to engage the ipop group in dialogue to resolve these issues so that the peace that is already in the land would not disappear i stand to be corrected if i'm wrong but that is what i think and that is what i feel concerning this particular news story as it were well, drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to leave your opinion. Subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.